Hey guys, it's Friday and I'm going to talk about Liar by Justine Margulyster today. So the topic this week is um, books that haunt us. And even though Liar didn't scare me, it did haunt me in that even after I closed the pages, I couldn't stop thinking about the book. I mean, even now, you know, I finished the book months ago, and I can't, I can't, st I still can't stop thinking about it. So to tell you a little bit about Liar, if you don't know, it's about a teenage girl who is a liar, and some bad things happen to her. Um, but that's about all I can say, because if I, if I say much more, it's going to, ruin the experience of the book because it is an experience. It starts out and this unreliable narrator is telling you this tragic story and soon everything that she's told you just completely unravels and you don't know what to believe because things that she says contradicts other things that she says. And the funny thing is you're left wondering if everything that you read was a lie, or most of what you read is the truth, or half of it's the truth and half of it's not the truth, and you're left really wondering what happened to this girl and what she actually did and who she is and where she fits into the story, and it's and all the characters are brought into question, and you know, is this character actually real? Did this event actually happen? And that's why it's such a haunting book because. You just don't know and you have to figure it out for yourself or you have to figure out what you think happened but there's no actual right or wrong and I think that's a really really cool kind of story. It's also haunting because it's a depressing sort of story. Someone close to this character dies and you can feel her grief all throughout the novel and, and it's a really powerful story. The author told it so well it's like she almost got into her head and you can feel her emotions as you read. It's it's just a, it's a really strong and powerful book and I recommend every single person read this book because it is probably the best book that I've read in the past year, I would say. Anyway, so that is uh, the book that haunts me and stay tuned for Scott tomorrow. Bye guys!